the doing of something, the creating of something, the act of creation. What does it mean? And how is it that it fills up empty places in our souls? Well, don't bother asking Lynn Colwell. She doesn't much care, to be honest. It just does. It just is. For her, that's enough. I just love to paint, and it feels right to me. It's like letting something out. It's what's inside of me. It's an urge that needs, it's like hunger, right? If you're hungry, you got to eat. You're looking at Lynn's morning routine. I don't have a purpose. I don't think about who's going to get it, what I'm going to say on the painting. I just get up in the morning, and just like, you know, you brush your teeth, and you eat your breakfast, and I paint. She took an art class 10 years ago. She's been doing this almost every morning since. She works on three paintings at a time. She's fast. You know, sometimes in the middle of doing one, I'm like, I can't wait till this is done. I want to get on to the next one. <laughs> well, one's drying, then I'll start another one. Here's the thing about Lynn and her art. She's under no illusion that she's working on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel here. Whatever strikes me, I just start painting. She cares enough to create them, but beyond that, couldn't really care less. I'm impatient, and I am not a perfectionist. And good enough is my mantra. I'm not interested in the outcome. I'm not interested in what happens to it. I'm not attached to it in any way whatsoever, so that's why I can give them away. You heard right. She gives them away. We'll get to that in a second. But first, the words. So right here, I have two boxes. The boxes are filled with random cutout words. I finish a painting, and I look at it, and then I just start randomly pulling words out of here. She pulls out words and thinks. Suspects. I, could, I wonder what, what does she suspect? And waits for inspiration. So there you go. We did it. What's it say? She suspects love follows loss. And just like that, the work is finished. It's the discovery that's so exciting to me. Then Lynn goes about the business of giving them away. She gets on her computer and puts it out there. But I post the painting on my Facebook page. And whoever says they want it first and is willing to make a contribution of $30 or more to any nonprofit or someone in need gets the painting. And I mail it out, put it in an envelope, and it goes off to them. Just like that? Just like that. That's simple. That's it. She's been mailing them out like this for 10 years. She figures she's given away about 3,000 paintings with no qualms. She's in it for the purity of the creating. That's it. That's enough. I mean, I love getting the piece in the mail. Two days later, Amy Vero gets a big envelope in the mail. Inside is the painting she asked for. Amy has several of Lynn's portraits. They speak to her on some level. I love her eye for color. Each piece is so individual, but at the same time, there's something about it that just draws you in. Um, they're cheerful, and I love um, that they're strong women. Lynn Colwell is 79 years old, old enough to know that none of us get to keep anything, young enough to know that that's not the point. Anyone can learn. Anyone can learn how to, how to, you know, do art, whatever that means for you. And so it is that 10 years ago, before her 70th birthday, she stumbled across something profound, that the doing, the creating, and the giving away of something can fill an empty space in a person's soul. I, I just think it's silly not to try. Why not try? And especially as you get older, because you have absolutely nothing to lose. The act of creating. It's the world's gift to her and her gift to the world.